Hey everyone, feel welcomed and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new subscriber, hi there, my name is Ngatia and welcome to the Ngatia squad. Today I will be doing a purple lip look. Let's get started. I've already done my brows. I feel this brow is better than the other but it's okay. I will moisturize my lips using this Mood Lip Gloss. To prime my eyes, I will use this 24K Kiss Beauty Primer. I will now set that um, primer using this Pro Conceal Sleek Mineral Formulation Concealer. To set that concealer, I will use this Sasha Buttercup Powder and this flat brush. I will now put on some tape on the sides before I apply my um, shadow. Like that. I want to give it that, the shadow, the eyeliner um, shape. I will now use this brush here. And the first color I'm going to apply on my crease is this orange. So that is done. I will now apply a brown on my lid, this brown. I will apply this below my crease, but I will only apply it quarter way. I'll do the same on this eye. And I'm trying to mix this orange color and this brown. The reason I'm still using browns is because purple is a really bright and dramatic color. So you don't want to use too much of bright colors. There are people who apply they do like a purple makeup look and then they apply a purple lip look it can still work as long as you use um i can say the right colors or whatever works best for you it's still fine but 
for me i prefer using um a brown or neutral colors when i'm applying a purple lip so that is done i will now go, going to go ahead and use a different brush this small brush here and i'm going to apply this color i don't have a deep brown color as a transition shade so i'm using this brown which is glittery but i feel it will still work and i'm only going to apply this at the corner like that and move a bit to the front not too much if you feel like the transition color is not enough you can still add it especially if you blend the this eye corner color with the transition color sometimes it does get lost if your eyeshadow is not pigmented like mine is not really pigmented so i know i'm still going to add a bit of this transition color if that is going to be necessary so that's it so now i'm going to add a bit of this brown here because i feel it's not enough and also this um transition brown on this palette is not very pigmented So sometimes I just add when I feel like I need to. Yeah. So I'm now going to blend this transition color and this glitter color with this brush. It's an edged brush, but it works well in blending, especially the transition color. So I'm only going to use swiping motions and i'm not going to hold my brush too tight you want to hold it a bit loose especially on the end okay because you want to blend this and i'll just keep adding where i feel like i can so i'm going to add this transition color at the top the crease just a bit So like that some more brown here at the corner yeah eyes do really take a lot of time so that is now done so i am just going to now apply i wanted to first yeah i'm going to first apply mascara only on the upper lashes because i'm still going to do some eye eyeshadow color at the lower lash And I only use one coat of this because it's really um, it has left a lot of color it's pigmented so using one coat is always enough and it makes my lashes voluminous let's ensure you apply also at the tip start from the tip of your lashes as you go upwards so i'm going to use liner this is the anastasia anastasia waterproof eyeliner in the number e147 it's amui 2 in case 
you think it's like real this one is just thick one so i'm going to apply this only here at the tip because i'm not going to draw a wing liner today so i'm going to apply here and at the corner like that Using this technique, I feel it actually makes your lashes look really voluminous. Yeah, you can see. I feel like they look wider. They look really wider than they were before. So yes, now I am going to apply my yeah my primer. Before I'm not going to. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do my lashes, so I'm going to. Um. I'm going to be using the JQ lashes. So this is the lashes I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to use the normal, uh, what is it called? The one you apply on your lashes before. This is the duo, duo eyelash adhesive waterproof. Yeah, that one. <laughs> you just apply it before you um, put on your lashes. So I'm going to put them and then I'll be right back. Now for my under eye, I'm going to use the same colors I used on top and I'm going to use this flat brush. I am going to apply some orange first. Then brown, the brown color that I had used. And then some glitter. And I won't I won't apply too much. So that's it. I'm now going to apply mascara on my on my um lower lashes. is done so now I'm going to remove this tape as you can see it has given it that eyeliner um, shape so now the eyes are done I am now going to prime my face using this primer For foundation, I'm going to use MAC foundation today and this foundation brush.
and if you feel the brush is not doing a good job you can also use a damp sponge just to blend that in really well foundation is done i also went through to blend it in a bit more better using this a damp sponge to conceal my face i'll use this pro conceal I'll go ahead and use this sponge here to blend. I think I'm going to wet this using some setting spray. To blend this more better I, I feel it works better if it's damp this is a really good sponge to blend especially on your under eyes those small areas that are hard to use using the wider sponge To set the concealer, I will use this Sasha Buttercup powder. To blend this in, I'm going to use this brush here, just to brush off this powder and to set it. For contour, I will still use the same concealer.
like that and I am still going to use this and wet it a bit I'm going to use this other clean end this side I'm going to blend this For the nose, I will use this flat brush. I'm also going to use some setting spray on it to smoothen up the contour. So that's it so next is blush i will use this pink brush blush here for my cheeks and this brush this is a, a blusher brush i'm going to use this for my cheek and it's like a bright pink color yeah And you usually want to smile when you're doing this so that you can see where you're going to apply so that when you're smiling and the sun hits directly this is the areas that are going to be seen so that is done i so far love how it looks so i am now going to just wipe this gloss off and the lipstick i'm going to be using is this bq liquid meat lipstick this is how it looks inside i love the way it's packaged i usually love packaging in product so i feel that they did a good job on that one so i'm going to swatch this i'm going to show you how the color looks So this is how it looks it's like a dark purple um, lip color I don't have a lip liner so I am just going to draw across here like that and a straight line here down on my lower lip and I'm going to use the tip to draw on the sides If I, have a, if I had a lip liner, it would have made um, the lips look uh, bigger. Because you want to ensure you draw to um, the end. Then I'm now going to fill this in. So that is how it looks. I really love this lip color. There's also another one that I used to really love. It was a Kylie Mwitu lipstick. It was in the number 12. So if you're dark skin, that will still really work um, for your skin tone. So I'm just going to clean this up using this 
concealer and i'm going to use the small brush i had used this one this is the same brush i used to clean up my brows so i'm going to use this one just to clean up my lip area So the upper lip I didn't mess up too much. This is the Black Davis pencil in the number 001. And this was the lip Kylie which lipstick I was telling you. It's in the number 12, but it really works for a dark skin person. So I'm going to apply this only at the center. And if you want it darker, you just apply Vaseline or Valvon. Like that. And you get a darker toned purple. You can even add more if you want to. If you feel um, it's not purple enough. Or if the purple color got lost, you can just... Um, go through it and then you just blend it in. I'm going to set my makeup using this aloe and smell makeup fix spray For highlight I'm going to use this glow bronzer powder and this color here I'm going to swatch this on my hand. It's like a goldenish highlight I'm just going to use this brush This is more pigmented than the other this color here it's more pigmented than even the glow bronzer powder this is uh, my first time using that highlight and I already love it it's really pigmented so I think I'm going to use that one but I'm going only going to mix a bit of this so now I am done with highlighting. This is the final look. I also went over a bit on my lip area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did enjoy shooting this video so much. Give it a thumbs up. That will support my channel. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Comment down on the comment section below. Subscribe. Once you sub have subscribed, it will turn gray. And click the bell icon for notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye.